Hello, no intro, no nothing, because this is live, it's raw, and it's just, I'm gonna try and take you through my process, I guess, of like how I start just drawing, and if this isn't your kind of video then, that's absolutely fine, I just, I want to show like what goes through my head, if anything goes through my head so I haven't done one of these videos before like ever I've never drawn and talk at the same time I think there was once a time where I live streamed and I did talk or did I no I think I just played music in the background anyway so the process obviously I have started now I usually just crack on with it so my process is really whatever I've been doing in like the past kind of drawings. That's not a good example. Say this one is where like I'll just draw something and then oh, we're already making mistakes. Let's okay. As you can see, this is definitely live. It's raw and it's going well already. Okay, there we are. We're back to the page. So yeah, it is just kind of doing what I've done in the previous drawings. And honestly, to get started, you don't really need to do much of anything for a doodle. It could just be as simple as just a few squiggles. And then just start adding on to that. Now, I've pretty much... Where was I? It's, it, this is strange because I'm not used to like talking at the same time as drawing because I'm actually having to think. Because honestly, if we're being honest, a lot of the time, I'm not actually thinking about what I'm, what I'm doodling. I, I, I am just doodling. It is a case of like when I'm in my sketchbook that I will just draw without thinking because it's so natural to me now I kind of need to get out of this because I want to try new things I want to improve not not like improve as in improve this but improve as adding new techniques into my doodle art because there is only so many things that I put into my doodle art and those things after a while, if, again, right, I'm going to put my hand here so I don't lose my page. So, like, when we go through, it, it's good, don't get me wrong, they're, they're okay. But you kind of just see similar things throughout. And that, that's not a bad thing, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. This is definitely my style. I don't know many people who do really small detailed doodle art like we're talking like right small very minuscule but still i'd like to add more to this so at the moment there are a few things that while i'm drawing like I say i do this pretty automatically that i am adding so this is kind of one of the the things i like to add so i'll just quickly get it done here it's like this branching off tentacly weird it's like a tree branch but it's not because it's just like a veiny strange sometimes they can look like hands like here kind of looks like a hand so again it's kind of branchy but it's kind of tentacly as well so I, I, I like these and every now and again you can, of course, add a bit of depth. You just go into it, add some lines in there. It just gives it a bit more, you know, depth to it. Now, the other things that I like to especially do when I've, when I've drawn that is I'll add these kind of, like, what would you call these? I mean, you can call them spikes, but I've, I've used these quite a lot. Again, I don't have names for any of this stuff but maybe I should because then I can explain this a lot better so I'll add these 
things. We'll call them spikes. No, I don't like the word spikes. Someone help me name whatever these are. But I'll add these off of this because I feel like they just flow off of it. Even though this is like this curved line here. Just adding these. I like those things in the caves. I don't know what those things are called in the caves where one comes down and then one comes up, meets in the middle, that kind of thing. And in a way, they can kind of look like teeth, so almost there's a mouth forming here. So, you know, add a few more of these, you can kind of get a mouth looking thing. So that's kind of cool. The other thing is kind of like what I'm doing here is these like, again, they are I want to call them spikes, but they're just not spikes to me. But the word just doesn't come to me. And I'll kind of curve them off of each other. And it creates this really cool, like, viney thing, which at the moment I feel like a flower can just pop out of this. But I've yet to, like, get it right to where I feel like it fits. And then I also can do this with it where I can not exactly curve them, over each other but they can kind of fold on top of each other and then start to create the same effect so I really like this at the moment and you can also do this with it which I think is really cool where you can kind of fold them in on each other and then usually finish it off with some nice circles and then some shading so I'll just put these circles down here so it's kind of like that I like this I'm sure there's quite a few things I can do and then what I'm adding now, which is kind of like how I started this drawing off, is just a continuation of bumps. I'll do it here. So it's just bumps. It's just kind of squiggling the pen. Well, I guess we can do it big. So it's like that. But really, really fine. And then, of course, with a doodle, which uh, is the best thing about doodles, is even when I scribble on a piece of paper like this, you can always make it work, no matter what you draw I could write my name and make that into a doodle and you'd never see it was my name at all because a doodle really can it it can just be anything which I love so another thing that I've recently been adding is squares I'm not sure why I just kind of added it to the I think it was change the uh, the full piece change that I added these two, and I just ever since then I've just loved working with them because I it was always circles, it was always circles that I added. So of course after a while I got quite good at doing really small circles. If you look at the art piece, an artist on my Instagram, you'll see in the middle that there is just a lot of circles. It doesn't look like it. But if you zoom in on that art piece, the whole center is just miniature. And I mean miniature. It's the smallest circles I've ever done. Uh, it's just circles. So I've always used them because circles fit into just about anything. And with my doodle art, I pretty much just put these everywhere. I like to fill all the spaces. I'm not sure why. It's just how I like to do art. But I've recently just found that squares can kind of do the same thing. And if it doesn't fit, we can do a bit of black shading and it works just as well. Gives it some nice depth too. So that's a couple of the techniques I use. An all-time favorite, you'll see this in a lot of my art pieces, is when I do like vines where they'll interlope with each other. Like they'll go in and under and over and... I'll do this like quite a few times and I'll shade in the spaces and then obviously I can continue that through and then with the new technique obviously I can add these together and it kind of creates this really cool thing and all that is is again so you just these lines some more lines but then obviously you've got like a line down here and that goes through these two could even go through that one as well and then you can just kind of continue this, get another one that's going through. And then just have a new one just coming out like that. And a new one coming out like that. And maybe it goes back under it. And then you just add a bit of shading in. And I've used these quite a lot. And again, let's just add those two together. 
because like I say, with with my doodles, it's all about, for me, it's all about connecting everything together, because like I say, I, I don't really like the the negative space, I always feel like I need to fill it in, whether that be circles, squares, or just black shading, I, I just, I don't like any spaces untouched. Now, of course, with using a pen, there are not many shading options, but there are dots. So if you group a bunch of dots together, like so, you can create this effect of shading. And then obviously, if you go further out with the dots, it kind of gives this highlighted area. But I'm not... See, I've, I've only really just realized that you can do this with dots. I think No More Tears, which was done in say October time had this effect in it but I've still not kind of got it down but this is just one of the ways to do shading with pen and like I say it's not something I've really got down now an all-time favorite which is gonna branch on to something I want to do is the way I do like galaxy drawings now oh that's not even the right pen that's not very good get the wrong pen already well, this is definitely a raw video. Oh, there it is. It's next to my microphone. So it's the way I create stars. So I'll use a brush pen for this one. And all it is, is basically just circling around and then just adding the shade. Sometimes I'll just do it like this. So I won't even need to draw a circle. And obviously if you do this over and over again, you can kind of create this galaxy looking thing and then obviously you can do it with all sorts of shapes so obviously if you want to do a spiral you can do the spiral and then you just cut around it and obviously sometimes I think I've missed it there but you won't see the white and then obviously when you finish that it kind of has that spiral so that's cool and kind of leads me on to like what I want to talk about just to finish this video off is how I am going to try and do another full piece. Now, obviously this is the first time I've said that on this YouTube channel, and that's because I've been doing my sketchbook. And when I do my full pieces, I delve right into them. I get quite into them, i.e. they take hours and hours and hours. If you watch to the uh, end of my room tour video, you'll hear me speak about how many hours they take. And I do want to record it, don't get me wrong, but when you're talking about 40 hours of work, I have to think about the fact that the recording is, I mean, I do like hour clips at a time, otherwise my phone will just die, because like I say, I'm filming I've never even said that have I I film everything with my phone my phone dies and I don't want to be sat there with my phone charging waiting for my phone to charge to then start recording now that's not to say I won't record any of this full piece I definitely will but it may be in the case of I'm having to cut between sections of it i.e. you'll see me start it and then it'll cut to it like a bit more done than before in th that kind of way if you know what I mean but yeah this is kind of like what we're working with that these kind of things that I've talked about here help me create this now of course the big one that I haven't used or talked about is is these things here so all these are are just the, like it's these but made bigger realistically they're just they're just bigger and again with the hand things the the tentacly spiky things you can add them on creates a nice little effect and it's kind of combining the two together which I need to do more of because if I did this and then maybe oh I don't know we're doing this raw and then start doing these and then I don't know did it again and we just add our techniques together and it could create this cool little thing but yeah that's kind of basically what we work with at the moment is just those couple of things I'm sure I'm missing 
something. Uh, but as to, you know, what what I'm thinking about while I'm doing it, unless it's a full piece, I'm not really thinking about much of anything. I'm just on autopilot. I just like to draw and I've done it for so long that if I'm not really trying, I'm going to start just doing stuff like this because it's so, I suppose it's so, oh, what's the word? It's not that I'm so used to it. It's that I've done it so many times that it's like second nature, you know. Obviously, every time I look at it, it's amazing. But it's not like I'm thinking, right, I need a square there. I need a line here. I need a square there. I'm just, I'm just doing it. It's like one big improvisation of an art piece. And I think that's what makes these so creative, is that there are no references to it. There are no pictures that I think of while I doodle. It's just a doodle. It really is. It's just a part of my imagination and what I feel like works. Because, of course, I want it to look good. Even when I'm not thinking about what I'm doing, I still want it to look good. I mean, I could definitely make this look, in, look like something. I might not think about while I'm doing it, but eventually I'll go, okay, if I did this, like that, it'll make it look good. So yeah, that's pretty much my process at the moment. As I say, I really want to get this full piece done. So how I record that, I'm not sure. Obviously... If you stuck around for this video, thank you. It's, of course, not something I'll do all the time. But I really just want to kind of show you the process. So, thank you for watching. And, yes, it's been a little long, but thank you regardless.